All right, and welcome back to the channel. I have something new and exciting for you guys. A couple days ago, patch 1.5.2 came to Hunt Showdown, and that one introduced the Winfield M1876 Centennial Sniper. So, a couple days passed, and I think it's time to show you guys a little bit what that thing can do and what it can absolutely not do. All right, there are three parts in this video. The first one, we will talk about stats and facts. Then there will be I don't want to call it a review, it's more like a first impression thing. And then we will have gameplay clips. Alright, let's get this started. So, stats and facts. The bullet velocities are 600 meters per second, which is dang fast. Like, in my opinion, this is the unique selling point why you should buy the Centennial Sniper. Super fast bullet. Only the Mosin with 615 and the Lebel with 630 are faster. Sure, there's Spitzer ammo, but honestly, I rarely see it nowadays, and if I compare guns, I like to take the standard ammo. Then, the lethal hatchet range is 148 meters, which is most of the time enough. It costs 298 bucks, which is pretty cool for a sniper rifle. So they reduced the price for the Centennial in general, so the base variant is sitting now at 277 bucks. I think they reduced it by 60 something. So. And the sniper variant sitting at 298 bucks. And I think that's awesome. A sniper rifle that is more on the budget side is pretty cool. You pair this with an officer or with a PAX and you spend not even 400 bucks, pretty close to 400 bucks though, and you have a solid sniper loadout to train for the big boy class. Like Mosin Sniper Uppercut, Mosin Sniper Dodge, Mosin Sniper Obrez Maze or Lebel Marksman instead of the Mosin Sniper. Those are expensive guns. So training the sniping with a very similar bullet velocity, that helps a lot. Special ammo, it has access to poison and FMJ. Boy, yeah, uh, poison in my opinion is more for PvE. I would not recommend it on the Centennial Sniper. You lose damage and you can't really profit from the poison effect. Normally you shoot people with the poison effect so they can't heal up, you put pressure on them. Difficult with the Centennial Sniper because you're fighting most of the time at long range or mid range. So the poison effect will wear off, they have time to heal up before you can finish them off. In my opinion, not worth it. Then FMJ, yeah, I don't know. I just said the bullet velocity is awesome and it's not that expensive. So the moment you pick FMJ, you lose bullet velocity and it becomes more expensive. So yeah, if you really struggle with people hiding behind metal sheet or if you think I'm lacking that little bit of penetration power, Tried FMJ, FMJ rounds did not convince me to be honest. Then, the damage to the upper torso before damage drop off is 123. This is very important. And I'm gonna talk about this in the first impression slash review part right now. Okay, so let's start with the last point. The Centennial Sniper is something that you use and you go basically always for a headshot, always. The damage drop off and the damage itself is just too low. Even after you kill somebody and they get revived and they only lost a small bar, you cannot kill with an upper torso shot. You still need to go for a two tap or even three tap to kill somebody. If they have resilience, man, and you hit limbs, it's really tough. You will see that in the clips. So always go for headshots with that thing. Whenever I did not go for headshots, because I thought, hey man, not necessary, because I downed that guy already once. I got kind of fucked. So don't do the same mistake, go for the headshots, which is pretty cool training, actually. Then, it's really amazing because of the bullet velocity. It feels a lot like a Mosin or Lebel. The 30 meters slash 50 meters per second different, they don't matter that much, in my opinion. It suffers though from the same issue that all the medium ammo type guns have. And that is, if I want budget, I might just go for compact and live with the fact that the damage sucks ass. Or if money does not mean anything to me because I have so much, I just go straight up to long ammo. So the Centennial has style, the Centennial is fun and the Centennial is good. But all medium ammo type weapons are always in this tough spot, why should I pick it? Strong weapons exist, so if price doesn't matter, you go for them. And if you're always looking for the budget stuff, then the Centennial is still a little bit too expensive. You can't make it cheaper though, it would be insane. 
So, I had a lot of fun with it. Will I play it much more in the future? Maybe. Just because I like it and I think it's cool. In a couple of weeks, my opinion might change. So, the usual. You will also see that in the gameplay footage. We will actually do some math. Because there was one engagement that I... Uh, it totally blew my mind. I was so confused regarding what happened there that I pulled out the calculator during the stream to see if that was actually happening. Alright, that's it. I think the Centennial, you take it with standard ammo, you take it with an officer over packs, you have a very decent sniper loadout to train for the bigger league, because, well, a Mosin is still more expensive. So, if you want to become a famous enemy at the gate sniper, train with the Centennial sniper first. Saves you a lot of money, and then you go for the Mosin sniper. Alright. Enough talking, this is already way too long. Let's go to the gameplay clips. I hear the match shooting at spawn. Holy shit, I woke so much stuff up here. <laughs> A guitar hero streamer or Beat Saber, man. I don't know how it works with Beat Saber, actually. Players across the water, I need to heal up real quick. Oh, he's crouching, what the okay. fuck? Okay, kill him. Nice. Done. Yeah, okay, that guy right there? Yeah. Nice. I just had to heal really quick, man. What the fuck was that branch? Grunt. Dr. Grunt there. Okay, I see him, I see him. <laughs> yeah, Do you think Google's worth it? Eh. I wouldn't buy it. If I get it on a roll, or in quick play, or I find it, then yeah, sure, but that's it. Ping to the left. Well, you know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> See you in a bit. Go push. <laughs> Come on, my little dog. My little bloodhounds. Why are these suddenly wooden steps, by the way? I don't know. There's you see a, the birds though, right? Yeah, there's a dead body here. There's a choke bomb going here. There's you one want... dead here. I hear them. Oh, I see you one. See yeah, 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 let, let him rest, let him rest. Yeah, there's wait another a one second. right there. I don't think they're resing. They're resing. They are. I hit them too. The other one I is think on I killed right her. There, Mike. I need they're to sing again. Still. Okay. They're standing still. Sound it's the uh, dead blessing. I I think the she daughter is back dead, but I hit her a lot of times. Well, I hit her once, and if you hit her twice, I hope she's fucking dead. Did she has? I I, I shot her three not. times. Yeah, Res is coming here. Ooh, dead blessing He's is dead. There. Dead blessing is dead. I think okay. I killed him before uh, he was able to rest. Daughter, I guess. I think he was going to res. That should be it. That's four bodies. Well, let me confirm. Go, my minion! Yeah, While I play more turret right defense. Fucking... Oh, God! Wait, why is there a dude over there? Oh, my God, I see it from up here. Disgusting. Yeah, wait, but then it's six. Deep in the fucking jungle right now, man. Sweating my dick off here. <laughs> I just scoped in it and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> is it with explosive it's fire rounds? Ammo too. Oh, my God. Wait, fire ammo or explosive? Fire. I, I'm Fire, what the fuck? And joins yeah, the psychotic host. Where did you where do you think you killed that person? Oh yeah, there's huh? another guy here. Yeah, that's the one uh, right here. There should be two. Okay, they're dead. They're dead, yeah. Yeah, but that's an okay. uneven number of players. Well that's four here, and then the guy at the water is five. Exactly, quick math. Let me Yep, yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe so some DLCs, if the DLCs in the Crytek store, the it works. Well, I guess we do some looting. Looting and shooting. Mm. Hi there, guys. How you doing, dude? You shot the daughter once, and I had to shoot her three times for her to drop. I, yeah, mean, I mean, sure, from the tower it's like far, but you're an extra like 20 meters away because how fucking tall the tower is. Why would somebody play this? Hey man, there's explosive wow. fam on the game now. Clearly their mental state is compromised. Mm, sure. 
Mine trying to see my minions. My minion is this one here. I kind of want to take it because there's so much value to be had. Just but at the same it. time, I don't. No, no, no. no, no. Dude, listen, there can't be that. that oh. What the fuck? This guy is playing fucking fire ammo too. This has to be the teammate. Okay, then we're missing another teammate somewhere. I guess. Well, what if an the code is on the Crytek store, you can, yeah. Uh, where did I kill the others? It looks so different uh, from down here. Straight ahead. Okay. The right a bit, I think. Oh, I found them. Oh, yes, I killed her. Nice. Oh, I like his loadout, though. And this loadout isn't too bad either. Nice. But where's the teammate from the tier 2 dude? I don't want to get shot now. Like, really? This would be sucky sucky. Uh, interesting, not bad. Are uh, we gonna burn this guy? So here I am again. That was kind of painful, like shooting the prodigal daughter there, especially if you watch the footage once more. Joe hit her even with the Valerie on top of my hits. So, whew, man, damage drop off and this gun not clicking hats, painful. Now, in this one, this will be even more extreme. Okay, watch a big gun sitting here somewhere in the reach. Reach, 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 reach. You're not up there, right? That would be lame. You think this is in range? Please don't be more than 150. Oh my god, look at her. So juicy! It's in range. E e e e e. Yeah. Noise. Another one bites the dust. And another one bites. And another one bites. Another one bites the dust. Uh. Uh. Now where's your friend though? It's gotta be almost max range. Eh. Uh. Stalking my prey. Maybe I get stalked. Yes, Pasha, pick up a bounty. Lord Grim, take up a bounty. Yes. Very good. Oh my god! Uh, I will most likely die here. Oh my god, he knows where I am. He knows where I am, guys! Hey Mike, how much cover do you want? Yes. No kill there? What a shame. Alright boy, how fast can you take your vitality shot? This will be pretty close, boy! Oh my god, I'm coming! Well, that's kind of shitty, though. Well, okay. I mean, sure, but... Fuck. <laughs> I might not win, but I make goddamn sure you're not winning either. Thanks, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who needs 150 HP anyway? 
I might just weasel my way out of there. <laughs> I panicked there slightly when I heard all the cooking. I could have shot there better, of course. It was kind of... I think I killed the one with the better gear here. Baby! Where's the girl? Right here. And who are these guys fighting? Mike, what you doing? <laughs> Get me out of here! I'm a faster! Okay. I mean, sure. Are they leaving? Hmm, shit. For fuck's sake, say that! Mike, just shoot him in the head, it's not that difficult. I'm sorry. I really try. No, 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 don't shoot back! Oh, the barrel. Pick her up. Oi! Oi! What? Oh, she is a... It's the Winnie Marksman buck again, dude. It's throwing... Dude, insane! Dude, that thing never performed that sucky. Dude, this can't be. That's at max 100 that she has with resilience. You just can't be. All right, you're probably as confused as I was during the stream. During the stream, I actually pulled out the calculator to check what the fudge was going on there. So let's have a look. So we shot there from, I think it's around 60 meters. It was a little bit further away from, or compared to where she killed me. So 60 meters, I think is a good guess here. Then the damage to the upper torso, you can see that in the stats in the store is 123 damage. It's a medium type ammo and the damage multiplier for the upper torso is 1.3. Then we had two hits after the revive. She had resilience, by the way. One was a lag shot, that's this one here. And one was most likely an arm shot. That's this one right here. So. The multiplier for legs is 0 0.7 and the arm multiplier is 0 0.8. So we have 123 damage divided by 1.3 gives you a base damage of 94.6. Then you take these 94.6 multiplied by 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 means that you shoot at the leg 66.2 and at the arm with 75.7 damage before damage drop off. That means that both my shots in total 
dealt 141.9 damage. Which would be plenty, because I killed her already once. But, damage drop off um, for medium ammo rifles at 60 meters is 0.63 around. That means, if you take the total damage and multiply it with that, you get a damage of 89.4. And you survive this with resilience. Now, I was even a little bit more generous, and I said, okay, you know what, maybe it's 0.65. Uh, which is even, you know, better. <laughs> and that would be 92.2 damage. So, this is the core issue when you play the Centennial Sniper. You down people and you they get revived and they heal up or they have resilience. Yo, they still feel like a fucking tank when you shoot them. It's crazy. So keep that in mind. Go for the headshots. Alright? Alright. Let's continue the video. Another mind waits and joins the psychotic host. I don't see anything. Oh my god. Can you please? For the love of God. Jesus. Where? Uh, the big hole. That curtain? Okay. Or downstairs? Upstairs. Behind the curtain, yeah. Could have had a shot. The moment I go for the fucking dog kennel, you know, they're not peeking there when I hold the angle for 15 seconds. No, no. That would be too nice. Well, thank you. Got one. Nice. Uh, hooded lady? Yes. Uh, I don't know. I shot through the cloth, but it looked like tier 3. You're in something on the right side. That's the holding. Right there. Yep. That is just a winnie. I have a shotgun, so... I don't know a secondary, though. Hmm. Closer to you. I'm gonna concertina bomb her. Or do you wanna push through the window? Uh, don't mind. Mm, maybe downstairs. The concertina bomb actually sucked ass. Yeah, downstairs. Oh, shotgun downstairs, Reverend. Of course, I'm bleeding now. Regular ammo? Uh, slug rival. Don't ask Ooh, me nice. how that killed, but I'm picking up the bounty first. Sounds good. Oh, he died over here, what the fuck? What the? It's like pinball. <laughs> I think he was uh, committed to holding that angle. I never walked away or anything.
They fucking are. This is over 150. This is out of lethal headshot range. They're fighting there. Let's have a look. They're fighting there. Dude, throwing knives are so good. Let's get into position. I know, you can go up there. Vision is based on movement, am I right? Yeah, okay, that's livestock, fuck that. So one dude is shooting over there. What the fuck? I might go a bit closer. Are oh, they coming? They're still fighting. I want to get them when they're crossing the bridge, you know. Now I'm a bit too close, though. The thing is, they will come at one point. If I cross now and try to hunt them, I will most likely sh just get fucking wrecked. No gate legs. Uh, level ring with this wind field sucks ass, dude. I swear they will come back. It's insane. It's just fucking insane. I told you. I told you. the psychotic host. Another mind breaks and joins the psychotic host. Crazy.
That Sparks is playing very, very carefully. Like one shot and that's Another it. Mind breaks and joins the psychotic host. Never mind. Oh no. Look a why. Nice. Uh blah, 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 blah. Let's go. Alright, there's only one more topic that we need to talk about and that's traits. So there's only really one trait that you need with the Centennial Sniper and that's Sniper Scopesmith. So you can stay in the scope while shooting. In my opinion this is really really good because even if you miss shots at the beginning you can quickly adjust because you can see where your bullets land. So good one. Then there is steady aim. Honestly I don't buy it very often. Keep in mind you only profit from steady aim after a couple seconds so there's a ramp up to the effect. You don't just scope and bam you have the calm hands from steady aim. I think it's around six seconds or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. So if you're somebody who scopes and shoots, you will not really profit from that. If you're somebody who holds angles a lot, then you will actually get a good benefit from that. But that's up to you. Then there's levering. Don't. Uh, really don't buy it. If, you've, if you get it from quick play, if you get it from a meat head drop, if it's, you know, lonely sitting there on a bench then yeah sure take it but do not invest points in levering for the centennial sniper just don't the bloom of the crosshair is just so big that you will miss everything they have to be really really close so it's maybe our last resort against people charging you with melee weapons but even then there's a high chance to you that you will miss so the only thing that you really need is Sniper Scopesmith, so <laughs> let me show you a clip where I don't have it. But it's pretty nice, because it shows that you can play it pretty nicely with a flashhead shotgun. Here we go. Uh, exclamation mark patch, there's a video. I also address the movement changes. I just keep on running. Oh my god, I don't have fucking. Oh shit. Oh nice. Mike, you fucking dum dum. Yes. It would be me. Oh, this is very. <laughs> Okay, that's helping me though. If it's not killing me now! <laughs> Worst position. If I recover from this initial fail... Wow, no fucking way. Dude, no way. They had me. They had me. Holy fuck. All right, that was cool. Okay, that that no iron sharpshooter. I fuck up the ambush, and still somehow we managed to drag this shit back. The fucking bushman. Mwah. <laughs> Saved my fucking life. Sure, the Centennial gets outperformed by a little bit of Marksman or Mosin Sniper, but I think it is in a good spot right now. A Sniper for close to 300 bucks? This is amazing if you want to train for the Mosin Sniper. 
From all the new weapon stuff with 1.5.2, this is probably my favorite. Am I weird? People who help me have a better life can be seen right here. My patrons, amazing people. I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for watching. I will cover the new slug shotguns and the explosive ammo in a few gameplay videos soon. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and bye bye.